Today, more Adobe Illustrator useful hacks and tips. See how many you know. What is up people, Tom back again with Tutorial Graphics. Before we start, I'm thinking of doing a Q&A on Sunday. So if you think that's a good idea, let me know in the comment section below, as well as maybe start asking questions now. It doesn't have to be about graphic design only, it can be about anything. Also, I'm contemplating doing a live stream soon, but I'm not sure what I can do for it. So again, let me know in the comment section below if you have any cool ideas. For now, let's delve into these useful hacks and tips for Adobe Illustrator. To kick off today's Adobe Illustrator useful hacks and tips video, we are going to take a shape and very easily and quickly split it up into equal shapes with a nifty little function. Select the shape and then go up to Object, Path and Split into a Grid. Here we can select the amount of rows and columns as well as preview the generated outcome. We can now edit each individual section. And if we want to merge some of the shapes afterwards, we can use a Pathfinder window to do so. If you have ever needed to copy and paste an object in a specific place, you may realize that simply using Command C and Command V would generate the object in a different area entirely. Instead of having to realign all of your work, you can hit Command Shift and V, copy back into the same place, as well as Command F to paste in front of all the layers, and Command B to paste behind all of the layers. Pretty neat, huh? In a previous video, I explained the Align tool. Actually, I think I've explained it on more than one occasion. But anyway, here's a quick tip that will give you a little more control when aligning shapes. Let's say we want to align everything vertically or horizontally. We want to align to this object here. We first click and drag to highlight every object and then click the object of interest until you see this thicker line of surrounding it. Now, when we use the align tool, it will do so from that object. The second part of this tip is that you may have guides in your artwork specifically for aligning objects. Make sure your guides are not locked by checking the lock guides option and then select our object as well as the guide that you want to align from. No need to hold down shift and then click the guide again until it becomes fatter as before. You may realize in your designs that if you have a component with a stroke to it and when you go to edit the size of the shape, either smaller or larger, then the stroke will not stay in proportion to the shape as you edit it. Simply open up your preferences window and check the scale strokes and effects option. Now you do not have to worry or fret over your artwork that doesn't match up proportionally. If you are designing web pages or graphics for web use, you will know that viewers will see your graphics on different devices, such as laptops, phones and iPads, to name a few. To save time and to group your creative process in one document, you can create three artboards at the sizes of, say, a laptop screen, a tablet screen and a phone screen of your choice. If you press enter whilst editing the artboards, you can edit the dimensions and the names here.
Lastly, in Adobe Illustrator, if you hit Command D or Control D on a PC, you will perform your most previous action. So if I resize this shape like so, and then hit Command D, it will resize the shape in the same way again, repeating the command multiple times will resize again and again and again. Thanks for watching and I hope I could help with today's Adobe Illustrator useful hacks and tips. Like I said at the start of the video, I'm thinking about doing a Q&A on Sunday. So if you think that's a good idea, let me know in the comment section below and post some questions if you really want to. Until next time, design your future today. Peace.